A fear becomes a phobia when you have to change your lifestyle. Let's talk about it. Let's go. Hello, I'm Ash. And I'm Lynn. And this is Only Only If You You Can can Keep keep Up. Up. So the definition of phobia. Extreme fear or aversion to something. Okay. The definition of fear. Unpleasant emotion caused by a belief that something is dangerous. Okay, so technically you can have a fear of phobia and not feel scared by something, but if it causes some kind of crazy reaction like it can be considered yeah i always just thought fear meant scared but no there oh i'm starting to think i might have a lot of phobias because there's a lot of things that really bother me to the point of like i will do anything to avoid it but i'm not scared of it like touching balloons and latex gloves and like things like that like i cannot stand balloons the squeaking the sound the feel like but I wouldn't say I'm scared of them. I just fucking hate them. You don't have to be scared of it. You can have an aversion to wow. it. So, and um, you do not have to be diagnosed with a phobia. Right. Like kind you of can a just self... kind of tell yourself you have the phobia and yeah. then you have the, like, I'm not saying you give yourself the phobia, right. but like you can say you have it. Right. Yeah. Well, I, d- I know that balloon phobia is globophobia. So maybe I'm a globophobic now. Now, I'm self-diagnosing myself as a globophobic. Well, there you go. <laughs> We've already come to one I hate realization balloons. during our episode. I hate them. <clears throat> I hate them. I know. I love hot air balloons. I love hot air balloons, but that's different. And it doesn't bother me to see balloons. It does not scare me. Nothing Is like that. Is it just if you physically it's touch the them? the feeling and the sound and, you know, a little fear when little kids have them because the popping, loud noises uh-huh. trigger, like, some kind of weird reaction in me, and I just... <gasps> Loud noises make me jump, and then little kids blowing up balloons. I always worry they're gonna suck Inhale them down. Them. Their, yes. I don't. I still to this day don't let my kids. They're well old so, enough to blow up a balloon. That we don't. I don't let them. Yeah. Wow. I don't allow. Bring me that balloon. balloons in my house. I will though blow them up for them, like yeah. for their birthday and stuff. I do deal with it. I yes. hate it. I can't stand it. Everything about it. The slobber. The everything. Mm-hmm. But I will do it for my kids' birthdays. I will blow them up some balloons. My I, oldest is like that. Yeah, I, I like to get up. those helium machines though. Yeah. Like, no, see, those are too bougie. Those are too expensive. well. Back in the day when they were younger, I used to do them. And yeah, then back I'd, in like, the day, they were fifteen dollars. Yeah, they're right. Like, mm-hmm. Now I'm like, okay, you get five balloons, mm-hmm. but your dad's gonna have to blow up four of them because this is as far as I can go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so what's your number one fear or phobia? <sighs> Besides the balloons, now I'm starting to think I might have a lot of actual fears and phobias. Holy cow! Um, so I don't know if it's claustrophobia or maybe like a tiny touch of agoraphobia, but I cannot handle being in crowds, like crowded areas where I'm shoulder to shoulder with someone, or I feel like I'm going to be trapped or I feel like I can't get out quickly. I, it sets off like this insane panic. Like Mm -hmm. I shut down, I go into full, full panic attack. Right. Um, I don't. I, it's not agoraphobia. Well, I don't have trouble leaving the house or anything like that. It's just a fear of like getting stuck in this large crowd and not being able, like a trapped feeling. Mm-hmm. And I am a little claustrophobic. I was gonna say that sounds claustrophobic. Yeah, I don't. I don't. A lot of people around me and a lot of noise, which that's you know sensory stuff too, overstimulation. But I do okay in elevators. I don't like them. Or like I get, small... I get extreme vertigo in elevators. I do too. Like after I step out, I have to hold on for a yes. minute. Otherwise, I'm still moving up. It messes with my mm-hmm. equilibrium so bad. Oh, yeah. every time. <clears throat> Sorry, going, I don't have a voice. <clears throat> going up is worse than going down. Yes. I don't know why. Why is that? Going down, I'm okay, kind of. But yeah. going up, I'm like, I will take one step out and I'll have to find a wall to hold on yeah. to. And my husband knows just to stand there for a minute and like make sure I'm yeah. okay because we can't, I physically cannot walk anymore. Yeah. What, what is that? And it doesn't last long. But no, it's, it's like, like 10 seconds. And, and I remember when I was little, it never bothered me. So I wonder if it's something as we got older, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, I don't, I don't remember being little and being claustrophobic so much. I know that I would get really nervous in, like, different tightly enclosed spaces, but I don't remember it, like, tr- like setting off a full panic attack like it has done in my adult life. Right. But I know that one time I went to this big 
children's museum thing where they had like lots of tiny spaces and like crevices and like little holes Mm -hmm. that you crawl through. And my oldest was maybe three or four and I got in there with her and she's, she's on the spectrum and has a lot of similar issues as I do with ADHD, you know, overstimulation, all that. We both just froze up. We got stuck in this little crevice. We weren't stuck physically, but Mm -hmm. mentally we could not move. We sat there and we just rocked together (laughs) until my husband came and like took our hands and took us out. Like it was, and I have never once gone back. It was a fun experience. Like they had really, the heights didn't bother me. You could go up on the rooftop. They had this like school bus thing that stuck out that you could like walk out on the school bus. Are you talking about the city museum in St. Louis? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's what it was. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really cool. And mm-hmm. we're like, oh, we'll come back one day. No, I never went back because that the little crevices. Yeah. I loved the high up. I loved all the little, I loved it all. But being stuck in that little bitty spot, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, I set off some kind of like, I just felt suffocated and like I couldn't move. That I sounds froze. sounds like claustrophobic. Yeah. But yeah. yet I can go in like... Oh, uh, was like Merrimack Caverns. I've been down in the caverns, which it's open. Oh, okay. Once you get down there, you're open. Right. But like I can walk. I know I'm underground. I know, but that didn't bother me. But when I got in the little bitty areas, like they have little like closed mm-hmm. off areas, I couldn't walk in. I had That's to stay back. So definitely I claustrophobic. Say, yeah. yeah claustrophobic, but I also yeah. hate crowds. <laughs> so there's so, yeah. that. Um, I don't know if mine has a name or a phobia. But I, I guess it's a fear. I'm going to say it's a fear. Well, no, because I have altered my lifestyle to not do this. So driving on interstates. Yeah. Won't do it if I have to. Do you, is it more, um, what part of it do you think bothers you the most? Like- um, I look to the left and there's a car going very, 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 very fast. And I have to trust that human not to hit me. Yeah. And I don't trust that human. So is it being like three lanes that bothers you? Oh, it could be one. Or just, okay, so do it, the highways don't do it then? Just... Highways don't do it because you're coming towards each other. Yeah. I would rather do that. Okay, so you're saying across the meet, like over the other car, cars coming the other way <clears throat> bothers you. No, the car's coming towards me. Like this, like this, like mm-hmm. nobody can see but her, but like... A highway does not bother me. It's the interstate when four lanes are going the same direction. Okay, everybody going the same direction. That's it bothers me. Okay, because I can look over and I can I can see how close they are to me. Yeah, and like the thought of that, all it is is a boop boop, and you're done. Yeah, you're done. Oh, well, that's yeah, that's true. But you don't understand. When I was a teenager, girl, I I went, I went yeah. everywhere. Yeah, I did not care. I would drive on the interstate. And you've never been in... I know they say phobias and fears are often set off by some type of experience you had in your past. Nothing. Nothing that can... I've never been in a car accident, like on a... I've been in a car accident before, but not like in a fast-paced situation, like in the middle of town, yes. But like, no, nothing. I have no idea. One day I woke up and I... Huh. I did, like I said, I've said in a previous episode, I've been on an interstate to take my youngest to the zoo for her field trip, so... That I like you sat in the back seat. If you have to, but I sat it's in like... the back seat and I rocked back and forth and I had my headphones on and I just that's what I did. I looked at my phone the entire time where I rocked and oh my gosh, I, it's bad. So I guess it is a phobia, yeah, but definitely... I don't know if I kind of looked it up and I couldn't yeah, find it. I don't it, know so... what that would be because um, it's not just traffic, it's not just roads or traveling, exactly. it's specifically interstates with yes. multiple multiple lane traffic. Exactly. Yeah. Or like even like when you go, sometimes highways have two lanes. Yeah. Sometimes that gets to me, but we're also not going 75 miles an hour. Right. We're going 55. Yeah. So, it's so a the speed different. mixed with like, it, yeah. Close contact is my thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Not to a lot of people because a lot of people make fun of me because I will not drive on it's, interstate. It's a very, like, legitimate, like, I totally understand why. But so just so you know, since we don't go on it, like me and my husband don't drive on interstates, we have found some of the cutest little towns Heck yeah. and the cutest, funnest there things There really is to do so many cool things on out the there. Highway. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Just because we don't take it. I always prefer the scenic route. Like, uh-huh. I don't, the interstate doesn't bother me so much, but I prefer to take a scenic route. Because... Like, if we plan a trip, we literally ask Siri how to get to Florida, say, with no interstates. Right. We do not take them. And, yeah, and most places you can get it's there. It's almost always about 45 minutes longer. Yeah. But it's 45 minutes. But think of all the things you get to see that you couldn't see on the interstate. It's 45 minutes of me having peace versus Sorry. me like extreme anxiety right. for the however many right, hours exactly. it takes. It's and worth then once it. I get to that destination, I'm done. It's that 
quality over quantity exactly. so perspective. Yeah. Thankfully, he understands and we good. don't do it. So. Yeah. My yeah. husband likes to take interstates because they're faster. And they're I mean, more, he does, he does yeah. too. Because if he's alone or taking the kids somewhere, yeah, he'll take yeah. an interstate. But. He's like a, you know, super rational, mm-hmm. like logical thing. Like, well, it just makes more sense to go That's this exactly way. Exactly and I'm like, yeah, does. but the interstate's boring and it's more dangerous and and i will have a full blown ass panic attack if we take it so yeah. let's not and say we did yeah and we'll just get there a little later it's fine yeah <laughs> to me it's totally worth it i don't mind leaving extra early to take mm. take a more exactly. relaxed route yeah i say root and route i say it both i say it differently each time tomato, why do i do tomato. that well, it's a it's a tomato it's a tomato okay. i don't know um i'm also okay Clowns have always bothered me. I know this is a common, like, people joke about it. Clowns are scary. It's not, I'm not, like, terrified of them. Like, I don't think they're going to, no, maybe I am. (laughs) (laughs) Ever since I was little, I have always hated clowns. I hate them with a passion. I don't care how cute they are. I have a question. Did you watch It Too Young? I think I did. I think that is. I think that's what it was. I think I have figured out the entire clown situation. My parents (laughs) weren't into that kind of stuff. It's not like I I would stay the night with a cousin one time and we were little bitty and I remember watching and I maybe that Most bothered people me people that I know that are scared of clowns is because they watched it too young yeah I think maybe that's what it was because I know they they like scary movies and we watched a lot of them now and then and that may have been all it was I watched it for the first time when I was six years old I remember I remember everything about it and I'm not scared of clowns clowns do not bother me I think they're dumb they are dumb for sure I, but I think like I also don't like I think it would be cool to actually be a clown, like to do the fun thing with the kids and yeah. do the circus. But like the fact that they try to make everyone laugh and the people that don't want to laugh and they try even harder for that person. Yeah. That drives me crazy. I think but, a lot of it too is it's not just the makeup and the mask because like I'm a huge Slipknot fan, so it's not like mask bother me. But what does Slipknot like, have to do with that? Because some mask, people might not know. <clears throat> Slipknot, they wear scary masks. Okay. I know. I'm <laughs> but just... I know that Corey Taylor is under that mask, right. so it does not bother but, me. So you don't but, know there's a man or a woman under that mask? Right. If The clown's mask. Yeah. So maybe maybe the mask thing does bother me because that, and it's like you can see their real eyes and their real smile, but it's not authentic. So it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It makes me feel so uneasy. Even like a clown dressed up at a birthday party or a circus. Mm. I don't, I never like circuses, things I like that. I am going to go. Anything connected to it. To Spirit Halloween and buy a clown mask <laughs> and knock on your window now, I did in the go middle watch, of the night. I watched the, the It movies with my husband. So like I can do it. He's like exposure therapy. You got to face your fears. You're going to be, you won't be scared of them anymore after you watch it. If, so we went to the theater and I watched it with him. I just closed my eyes during the parts I didn't want to watch. Pennywise is not scary. He's not. I guess that's also, again, though, I know who the actor is. I, I, in my head, I, I can see the actor without the makeup. Right. So I think a lot of it is not knowing what's truly behind when I don't know. Like, my babies were dressed up as a cute little clown. as a, right. like, But so they didn't have the okay. makeup and all that. Right. That's different. Like, even like Ronald McDonald, shit like that. No, thank you. It this just... Is- and I had a friend growing up, and he knew how scared I was of clowns. And he would call me late at night and say... Hey, there's a clown under your bed. It's gonna get you. <laughs> he would just mess with me all the time, and I think it just made it worse. <laughs> and uh, so now, yeah, I I am just I don't like them. They don't mm, anything related to. I won't go to like circuses and things. I've been a couple times when the kids were little, and I just the clowns come out. I have to look away. I have to close my eyes, and then I'd say that's definitely a phobia. Yeah, and it's not just clown. So like fun houses. Um. Now, I remember this is due to an experience because when I was little, like you know what I'm talking about, like carnivals carnival and fairs where they have the, you the, walk through it goes a little. Up and down and then there's a mirror maze yeah, and all that. Okay. Where yeah. everything's like distorted and there's all kinds of weird things and weird music and like the stuff you see in the creepy movies. But I think that just probably sets up, a, sets off a lot of your, like triggers, like yeah, you're distorted in a mirror that fucks with our heads yes. because sometimes we are distorted when we look around. Yeah. And well, the music that goes with it, mm-hmm. the like look of it, all of it, it kind of takes me back to this time when we were little. And I almost wonder if it was a dream because I don't know if my brother remembers it, but we were little and he's just a year younger than me. So I always like, he was my buddy and I always want to keep an right. eye on him and make sure he was safe. We went in this fun house together. My parents were at the other <clears> end. <throat> And I remember walking in, and I was near him. I turn around, and he's gone. It's, it's crowded in there, again with the crowds. Crowds have always been an issue for me. 
and he's gone. I can't find him anywhere. And I'm looking and I'm panicking. I'm like, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I walk all the way out and he's out there with my parents. It was all fine. But I remember just being so scared that I couldn't find my brother and I'm stuck in this creepy ass fun house. So I'm like, this like, is not fun. This is not fun. So that's your experience that yep. triggered the whole. Okay. Yeah. I really think it is because every time I think about fun houses or circuses or clowns or mirrors, I don't, I don't have trouble seeing my reflection. I don't have trouble, but I do make it a point that in my home, my mirrors are up high, except for like the bat, you know, bathroom mm-hmm. places where you can't really like do anything about it. But I will cover mirrors. I will take mirrors down if they're bothering me. I, I only look in them when I have to, like, you know, when I have to, <laughs> I hate them. That's crazy. And it's not that I'm scared of my reflection or anything like that. I also feel like mirrors are portals, but that's a whole nother thing. So did you know that there's a thing if you put a mirror next to a mirror, like if a mirror can see a mirror that you can create your own portal? Ooh. Like say you have a mirror right there. If you put one right here, the two mirrors looking at each other. I know I've always heard not to have mirrors face each other, but I never knew. What, and there's a lot of superstitions yeah, on mirrors. Yeah, that's just a superstition. That's yeah. just, yeah. But that's okay, nasty. Um, my next one. And this, uh, I don't know why. I don't like backing up in vehicles. Like, I can back up. Not good. Yeah. But I can do it. But, like, if my husband's backing his trailer Someone in, else I physically cannot watch. Huh. I do not know why. Not I, Like, you've never had any pets that were ran over or no, anything like not that? not like that. Hmm. No, like, I, can't, I don't know why. At all. But, like, if somebody is going to reverse something into my driveway or anywhere, like, if, you're, if your husband came home right now and reversed into the driveway, I would not look at I would not look really? out the window. I would, I would look down. I would look away. Wow. But it doesn't bother you to do it yourself. I can't do, like, a trailer or anything. But just, yeah. like, my vehicle, I'm horrible at it. Yeah. I can't do it straight. I wiggle and wobble. And I have a camera in my car. So, yeah. I mean, but... That doesn't bother me to do it, but it's other people backing up. Huh. I have this, I think it's an irrational fear of somebody hitting something, but it, it's not like that would be a big deal because you're going so slow. It would yeah. just be like, oh, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It's and weird. I have like, I backed out of a friend's driveway one time out in the country and it was snowing and I backed my, at a little old BMW, it was a little bitty thing, and I backed it right into the ditch and it went out, boop, right down in the ditch and, uh. So now every time I back out of any driveway, anything, I'm always really careful. I do have a camera, but I don't trust it. I always oh, me do too. a full I circle. I do the camera everywhere look. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just weird. I can't watch other people do it. I can't. Hmm. It's very, very weird. I almost wonder if, like, in the back of your head, you're, like, worried that someone's going to get hit or someone's going to get... It has to be. And, like, also, like, I always... I know you hear stories of things and people I always make over. sure, like, all of my kids are with me or right. in the house or on the porch with me or... I always tell them, like, touch the house. Dad's backing up, yeah. you know, so they're far enough away. Yeah. I know they're good. So I don't think it's that. Like, because huh. I, I make sure everything's okay, make sure all my animals aren't in the way, and if they are, I get them out of the way. I don't yeah. know. It's just a weird one that I, I don't have a lot of fears. Like, I'm not scared of a lot of things. Do storms bother you? They used to horribly when I was a child. If I know a tornado is potential, then yes. Yeah. I said potential, like I was someone important. Potential. And I know they say with storms, it's usually like once you have an experience with it to where you feel. I was in is first that grade. What sets there was off. a tornado. I remember that one because we were the same age. Yes. Different schools. We didn't know each yeah. other yet. But, but um, if it's just a storm, it's a good storm. Hell yeah. Right. Let's go. Let now, my go. son, my middle child, he probably has the phobia for storms. And I probably did it one time. But now I think I'm more protective of I remember them. when we were younger, you would, it wasn't that you were like freaking out or anything, yeah. but you would really watch the weather and oh, you'd really, yeah. like I got to have a plan in place. My and, dad, even when I moved out, like even to this day, if it's going to be a bad storm, he will call me and say, hey sis, just so you know, it's coming your way. Yeah. It's okay. You know, we don't have a basement in our house. So go down to yeah. your mom's house, get in the basement. It's going to be a yeah. good one. My like, mom always warns us too. She's always yeah. like, hey, listen. And babe. those are the ones usually I get scared and I think yeah. I'm scared because do you think when you're when your dad lets you know that it's a concern that maybe you're like oh if he's concerned exactly. then I need to be concerned those are the ones that I'm like oh fuck we're leaving yeah. you know what I mean yeah. but I think I don't think I'm scared of the physical storm because I know we'll get to a basement I know we'll right. be safe I think it's just like you have a house that you've built you've done right. all this More stuff of too like unraveling what you have exactly yeah. losing all of that stuff yeah. that you've done now when i was a kid obviously i didn't think that i thought ooh, big bag tornado like i literally thought in the movie twister fucked me up really i can watch it but yeah if i i literally thought in my little baby girl head that if i watched twister a tornado was going to come to my house like oh, that well, is like what you'd manifested or something believed wow. wholeheartedly I truly believe that. 
So I guess I do have that. Yeah. But I'm better now. Like, it's not yeah. as, as a child, like I said, my son definitely has it now. Like, if there's a gray cloud in the sky, he's got his iPad. I give him the weather yeah. app because it just calms my me My youngest down. gets worried. He gets yeah. worried about stuff easily. But yeah. that the most recent storm we had, you know, I've never been scared of storms, even being, oh, I've been yeah. through a couple tornadoes, like the one when we were little. I mm-hmm. remember sitting in the hallway at school. And then the one, I don't know, my oldest was little. And I remember my husband was at work and we went down to the basement and yeah we had trees down and power was out for several days it was it was a big one um but even with all that i know i was never scared of storms i'm the weirdo that's out there on the porch watching the funnel clouds like i can't i love it it's intriguing it pulls me in but i want to make sure my family's safe i'll send them to a safe place and then i'm like i'm gonna go peek outside real quick but uh no way until recently i was never ever scared of them and I was out when we had that big storm. Cause mm-hmm. It's been, a, what, a month or so probably ago now, month, probably. Month and a half. And I was out driving. I was out driving, running errands, and I came out, and the wind picked up. I've never felt the wind like that before. It was blowing trash and debris in my eye, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I better get to the car. I'm seeing people swaying. I'm seeing, like, tree limbs swaying. And I don't think it was a tornado. It was just, like, what, straight line winds, I think it was maybe. Just straight like, line winds, yeah. But it got so bad so fast, and I'm trying to get home, and I only live maybe five minutes from the store I was at. And as I'm driving, my car is swerving back and forth, and there's tree, not just tree limbs coming down, but there's full trees uprooting, falling in front of me. And I'm like gripping the steering wheel. I'm like, you got this, you're almost home. You got this, stay calm. I'm shaking, like I am shaking. And I'm like, breathe, breathe. You're like three blocks from home, you can do this. Every road I'd go down, another tree would come down. It was like everywhere I went, a tree would come down. And I was so afraid of being pinned down under a tree and not mm-hmm. being able to get back to my family and I did make it home, and my husband's like, what's the matter with you? I'm like, okay, big storm coming. Everybody needs to get to a safe place. And then as soon as I set my keys down, that power went out. And, of course, my little one's like, oh, no, there's a tornado. I'm like, everything's fine. I'm home. We're together. We got a safe place to go. We're okay. <laughs> everything's fine. But I was just like this, for like shaking oh, for God. like half an hour. He's like, you've got to calm. I'm like, I'm calm. I was actually exhilarating. <laughs> like, I'm okay. But I was like, I just had to tell you what happened. But it was fine. Everything was fine. But I'm like, now... I know that I can't be out when it's storming because that feeling, I don't ever want to feel that again. It right. was like watching a movie. It was Sound, like... It, when you explain it to me, I'm like, damn, this is like a Cars good movie. were under trees. Like, yeah. I was seeing cars being pinned. Luckily, no one was in them. No right. one was hurt with that storm. But some of those trees were big trees coming yeah. straight. I saw transformers blowing, like... It as I'm driving. Like, it sounds like a clip in the movie Twister, yes. like where it cuts to the woman I've driving from the market. I've never experienced anything like that. <laughs> and I'm like, that was just like... Wow. Do you remember? I think it was my daughter, my youngest daughter's like fourth birthday, fifth birthday. We had that slumber party. Yes. And there was a tornado during. Yes, this, like, and we, we all had, had to huddle like, up. We had, we had all the kids. In I the, remember that in a hallway and like we've our, been through quite a few storms together. Our oldest girls were like reading stories to the yes, little ones. That was so remember sweet. That? Oh, oh my gosh, God, yeah. they handled that all so well. Yeah. Yours especially. She's yeah. just like a little caretaker man. Yeah. That was awesome. Kept everybody calm. I think that's a big thing. Like, if we don't show fear, they're not. I've noticed as more storms come, my youngest calms down. But he told me the other day that he, it's not so much that he's scared of the storm, but the way we react. He's only seven, but for him to be able to tell me these things. Mm-hmm. Like, he noticed that mom and dad were getting worked up because on the, the last storm before that, power went out. We had to get the, all the food from the fridge. We had to right. put it all in coolers and take it to my parents' house. And so we were stressed and yeah. rushing around. And, situation. and yeah, he's like, definitely. you guys, I could tell you guys were worked up and it was making me worked up. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I oh. try to stay calm. But, you know, in those situations, you never know how you're going right. to react when, you know, everything's got to right. be done at once and you got to have a plan. And yeah, so I'm trying really hard to, like, not put my fears onto my kids because... Yeah. I am a very anxious person. I say I'm not scared much. Like, in big situations, I can react, but I run on... My default is worry all the time. I'm just always worrying about things. But then when that situation comes to, you know what the fuck to do. I'm fucking ready. I'm prepared. That is when you shine, bitch. I do the best in big situations. You'd think that... Yeah, like, that's, like, the moment of pure fear and terror and everything. You know what the hell to do. Yep. You well, know? like my husband has atrial fibrillation, so he has he's had a couple heart surgeries. He's healthy. He's good, but he's had a couple times over the years where I've had to call an ambulance because and you're calm as hell. Yeah. Okay. I'm honey, like, let's all do right, this we're gonna take you. We're gonna go. Yep. We're gonna do. We're gonna. The kids are fine. And yep. I guarantee you. Yep. Every yeah. time. Yeah. And I don't. I don't know. It's just like all that stuff I'm preparing for. 
it's like, oh, this is here my it moment is. to shine. Yeah, like, <laughs> not that I want bad things to happen, but I do feel like I'm prepared most right. times when something crazy happens. So Okay. Back on topic, because I think we turned left there for a while. Still fears, well, though. Storm is a fear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this isn't uh, It's not a fear. Maybe it is a fear. No, it's just, it makes me gag. It's like, whoa. Raw meat. Uh, mm. You knew what it was before I said it. I could tell. I just want to play in it. It Ew. reminds me of surgeries, open Are you surgeries. Yeah. You want to play in it? I mean, it's gross because I think of bacteria and E. coli it and stuff. But makes me want to vomit. like the feeling, I now can, the smell. I can eat it. Listen, but... I can eat meat. I can eat meat. I can eat steak. I can eat. I can eat all of them. I don't care. It's touching it to start preparing. Really? It. Like once it's in the pan, I can cook it. So like. Just call me. I'll come over and I'll just like, I'll do it for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love raw my, meat or anything. I'm husband, not. He'll toss it in there for me, or he'll like. We do that. Oh, what's it called when you make patties? No, <laughs> <laughs> patty cake. You seal them shut. Vacuum seal. Vacuum seal. We have a vacuum sealer and he'll <laughs> vacuum seal it. But he does it so that I just cut it and kind of plop oh, it. Oh yeah. So I ain't gotta touch nothing. That's why we get the like the frozen um, tubes of ground beef a lot because you can just cut the tip it's, of them nope, off and just squeeze nope. them out. You, you're squeezing. You're touching. Oh, oh but my God. it's but you're touching plastic. It doesn't matter. You what can if, feel what the insides. What if insides. you wear um nope, plastic gloves? Don't matter. Nope. No. Hmm. I cannot touch. Like I will grab the corners and just pop, and it's in the pan, and I'm fine once it's in the pan. Yeah, perfectly. Fine. What about chicken? Does it bother you? Like yes. raw chicken, all of it? All meat. Hmm. I can't touch it. I'm like slap it, baby, slap it. <laughs> just kidding. I just, I do not love raw <laughs> meat. I'm not do. some weirdo. I just <coughs> I'm one of those like hands on cookers, cookers. Oh my gosh, hands on cooks, bakers. <laughs> Everything I do, I have like I wash up real good, but my you know me with yeah. my cookie dough, I have yeah. to mix it with my hands. But it doesn't, it doesn't bother. Now if raw if meat has a smell, especially since COVID, my smell's been what off. You say all meat oh, has a smell. Oh, the oh, smell no. bothers me, but I can I don't know, but I'm one that like loves like open surgery stuff and like all that oh, kind of stuff. So I like love open I want to get my hands stuff. in there. I can sit and watch an entire surgery from front to end on the but YouTube But you're not touching it. Me. Maybe that's I'm a difference. I'm not touching yeah. it. Yeah. I can look at it. I can look at it in the store. And, like, you should see me whenever I go to, like, the Walmart and to get the stuff. I'm, like, very How's corner. How's that going to feel? <laughs> no. I, like, very corner of it. And I, like, drop it in my cart, like, from far away and don't look Start at taking it. purse tongs with you. <laughs> like, these are my if tongs. Have, like, the kids with me, I'll be like, hey, grab that for me. <laughs> and, of course, my kids are, like, That's you know, pushing their fingers in it. Oh, like, does it help to get one of those bags and to absolutely grab it? Absolutely not. You said it doesn't matter because you can still feel, I can the, feel it. the texture, like, it, through your... It, I'm not scared of it. It just makes me want to vomit. Yeah. And I have a gut of steel. Yeah. Puke, mucus, blood, none of that bothers me. Huh. Raw meat, I do not know why. There is not. Has it always been that way? Since I was a kid. Really? Yes. Yeah, since huh. I can remember, like, going to the grocery store with my mom and my brother. You know how little kids Did are you disgusting. ever have to, like, help, like, um, Kill, like with like, hunting, like, after, you know, getting the animals prepared and stuff like that to where it maybe would have bothered you or something? I'm just trying to think of what yeah, kind of Yeah, but, off. like... What was that? Like, a motorcycle? Yeah, maybe a motorcycle. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but like, I never bothered me. Yeah. Like, I'd hold the deer open and dad would go for it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe, uh, but maybe in your head. I, I don't, don't know. know. From as far as I can remember, like going to the grocery store with my mom, you know how little kids are gross. My brother would like touch every <laughs> single thing of me and I'd be like, oh, stop, don't. Like, you maybe know. that's all it was. Maybe. <laughs> you know that everybody's touching those meats before maybe. you get them home. Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> get your that hands was, off my That meat. was like the 90s. Hopefully kids <laughs> don't do that now. They might. I don't know. I'm sure they do. Well, I'm sure they do. Okay. Do you have any more before we I'm trying to think. To... I, okay, so. I talked about my mirrors thing, right? Uh, there is a word for that. It's isoptrophobia, I believe. Are we going to try to pronounce these? Because I've got like a list here. And <laughs> if I have to try to pronounce these, I'm done. I know there's a lot of really common ones like agoraphobia, obviously. And I always thought that was fear of just leaving your house. But it's more of like what being trapped and like. Um, not being able to leave a situation. So, like, if you're yeah. in a crowded space or if you're in an elevator and yeah. can't leave Okay, I've it. got that. So, but <laughs> I thought agoraphobia was literally don't leave your house. Right. You can't leave your house. Yeah. But that's not it. It's the fear of being trapped in yeah. a situation where you cannot get home. That That's what I was trying to describe earlier, earlier when I was, storm. yeah. Ever since I was little, maybe it was land before time. I don't know. But, oh like, my God, and no. it's not just, like, earthquakes or don't. I've always worried about being separated from family or my home. Like, my safe place is my home and I want to be home. So, if anything 
threatening comes up, I want to be home. So yeah, I worry the crowds and stuff bother me, but it's because I'm worried about getting trapped in them. I don't want to be. I want to be able to get back to my house, back to my safe zone. Right. So maybe that is a little agoraphobia. Like I can leave my house. I'm not like a hermit completely. I like to be home. But... I consider myself partial hermit. Yeah. I'm going to get a tattoo that says partial hermit, yes. <laughs> like, on my arm. A little hermit tarot card with there it. There you go. I already have one tarot card. A little hermit crab on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know that exposure therapy helps me in that situation because I feel like it makes it worse. <laughs> I think sometimes exposure therapy makes it worse. Yeah. But I get facing your fears. And with things right. like snakes and spiders, that makes sense. But, like, mm-hmm. big life, like, things that you have to deal with every day. Right. It's, yeah. I don't know. What about the ocean? Like, deep, vast ocean. Absolutely like, love it. Really? I will dive as deep as I can go. Really? Doesn't bother me. And to me, again, it's that not being able to come back. Ooh, I like it. Getting trapped down there. That's what I worry about. It doesn't about. bother me. I don't... I don't know. It just doesn't. Like... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's called thalassophobia, I believe. I have snorkeled deep as deep water. as I could, like, without, really? like, scuba gear. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. When I, I went to Mexico. That. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I had a starfish, like, no. crawl up my arm and around my body. It was See, so cool. See, I find all that so cool, so but I don't cool. think I could do it. Oh, it's so neat. If I get to where I can't touch, I'm panicking. Oh, this is probably, I'd say six foot. I mean, it wasn't super duper deep yeah. right there because we did we weren't scuba diving. We are just yeah. snorkeling. So it was deep enough we could come up. Yeah. And now, I can swim. It's not mm-hmm. that I'm afraid of drowning. No, it's I've, more like... I jumped in with dolphins, too, in the middle of the ocean where the do- bottom's dark. Like, wow, yeah, that's we, amazing. We that that I don't it. know that I could go that far out, even on a boat or something, because uh, I want to be able to get back to we land. Had a, we had a... I think at one time it was probably a glass bottom boat, but the glass was gone, oh, wow. so it was just like a net bottom that's boat. Cool. It was really cool. That is so cool. Really neat. Yeah, that bothers me. And maybe it's a little separation anxiety with my home, my family. I don't know, but... I just being in a situation where I like I don't take trips away from my kids that are more than a couple out like my husband and I have never done more than like one night you away you should take a trip somewhere yeah, I think just, that would be I fun. don't know how far I can go because until they're older because I ha- I have this like it's like this string be with me or this time. large rope that I can't at some point you have to cut the rope no I know but it's not just my kids it's my family my house my I pets know, everything it's like a it is definitely some kind of strong fear that, like, I'm worried of being separated from everybody for yeah. too long. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, do you but... have any more? Because if not, I've got some fun facts about phobias. Okay. I was just going to talk about germophobia because I thought of Howie Mandel. But I'll talk, I can talk about that after because that's, like, a whole thing. Okay. <laughs> ready? The most common phobias. Five most common phobias. Are you ready? Mm. Yes. Guess number one. Arach- arachnophobia. Yeah, you're right. Is it the first one? And that's that. spiders, right? Arachnophobia. Spiders is number one most Couldn't common fear. Couldn't be because of the movie. Like <laughs> number two is snakes. Hmm. I'm not even going to try to say it. See, I don't even know what that was called, but I know Ophiidophobia. snakes are big. Ophiidophobia. Ophiidophobia. See, I can't do this. I'm not doing it. Snakey um, fear. Snakes. Number three is heights. Yeah. That's, number is f- that air aerophobia or something? Acrophobia. <sighs> um. Number four, that was three, right? Yeah. Number four is agoraphobia. Okay. And number five is fear of dogs. What? Really? Yes. You know, I've met more people than you would think that are terrified of dogs. Usually it's because they've been bitten. I've been attacked by a whole ass dog before and they don't scare. I have have three dogs. Biggest dog lovers ever. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe it's just, I don't know. I know we had a guy come deliver some furniture one time, and my dog got loose. And he's a sweet puppy, you know, mm-hmm. but he was terrified. He wouldn't get out of the truck. And I was uh, like, I'm so sorry. I'll get him back right, inside. Right, right. And he's like, oh, I, my sister got attacked one time, and I can't. I'm terrified. I won't go near him. So there's a lot of people scared of dogs. Yeah. I didn't know it was a top five. Okay, next fun fact. Not really a fun fact. I guess just the five most rare phobias are fear of chickens. <laughs> We can't be friends. They would never be able to come to your house. Never. 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 <laughs> um, fear of aging. Oh. Fear of walking. Walking? What? Walking, yes. Fear so what of, do they do? They crawl? Uh, they're scared to walk, actually. Petrified to walk. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I think a lot of them have wheelchairs. Wow. Um, fear of vomiting. I have that a little bit. Like, when the kids get stomach bugs, I, like, get terrified. I start paying. I'm like, I can't puke. I can't puke. I'll take this. If I got any Zofran on hand or, like, Imitrol. Just puke. Because when I start puking, I can't stop. Uh, And then I get dehydrated. I I end up in the hospital. It's a whole thing. 
the fifth most rare phobia is peanut butter getting stuck to the roof of your mouth. I've read about that before. Mm -hmm. It's rare. It's very rare. Like, not that many people have it. Have it. I but mean, yeah. that makes sense. It reminds me of those, like, those things they give you at the dentist when they're doing those mm -hmm. treatments. And they're like, yeah. when I was having my uh, crowns molded, that scared the shit out of me. I'm like, I can't. I can't open my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's stuck. It's going to be stuck together forever. Oh, mm, new fear unlocked. Having my mouth zip shut like Deadpool. <laughs> or sewn shut. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop it. I don't like I don't okay. be able to talk. I fuckers. have four quick facts, and then we'll talk about whatever. Howie. Was it Howie? Oh, yeah. It's okay. not a big deal. I just. Uh, a fear and a phobia are not the same thing. We've discussed that. We've done the right. thing. Just clarifying they're not the same. Um, There are more than 400 phobias. Wow. Yes. Actually, that makes sense. I yes. bet there's a phobia for just about everything. I'm surprised there is a more. phobia. Listen, this is the this to me is the craziest, but it's not one of the rarest. A phobia to be scared of developing a phobia. Wow. There's a name for it. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to try. That's I can't a whole try. new level of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> and they can be passed down. They can be hereditary. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. I just always assumed they were. Um, you know, situational or like nope, set off and can be passed down from huh. parents. So, so you can literally be like born with a phobia. Yeah, I did not know that. Maybe I was born with the interstate. No, because I used to travel on the interstate. The raw meat phobia. I was born with that. What is that? Airplane. Nope. Grass mowing. Somebody's mowing grass. Okay. It's okay. We can't take that out. <laughs> Um, okay. It's hard to hear with headphones. I'm like, what's yeah. that noise? <laughs> but it's so loud because these yeah. microphones. Okay, your turn. Um, so germophobia, I thought that would be one of the top ones for some reason. Uh, it's not. Um, and that's on like three different websites. Like I didn't just click on one. Wow. Like, there yeah. was several. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, when I think of phobias, obviously you get arachnophobia think, and all that. I think that, the but... germophobia was in the top 10, but I yeah. only did five just for time purposes. I just yeah. did five. I do. I do know a couple people who have a little bit of germophobia, but every time I hear that, of course, I think of Howie Mandel and how, you know, he doesn't like to shake doesn't hands. Doesn't he do he the elbow bump? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um... I saw a video one time where they had interviewed him and um, asked him about that. You know, was did something set that off? Did something change? He says, well, you know, having OCD, as I have OCD myself, um, but I'm not like the cleaning, it's not like the cleaning germophobia OCD. It's not, it's different for everyone. Mine's more like intrusive thoughts and stuff. Anyway, ticks, whatever. Let me get back on track here. Howie Mandel, he has OCD. So, of course, he's one that would, you know, overthink and overanalyze and, anyway right. and you know things have to be done a certain way and have to but I guess as a kid he said he was really little and um he was at the beach and I guess he got bit by like a sand fly and he didn't think much of it but then later he started seeing um I guess it like the larva in his skin and he could like see it moving through and like, like it was really happening or like his in brain his, brought yeah, this Yeah, he could out. actually okay. see it and it like it was real. This is what set it all off for him is what he said. Oh, it's about to set it off for me because that's disgusting. Yeah. So I guess his mom took him to the doctor and the doctor's like, oh my God, like a dermatologist. Like right. I've never seen this before. We have, we, we have to get you out in front of people. So I guess he, um, they, he was little, like I want to say four or five or something. They took him to like this medical convention type thing and like put him on display as a little boy, like stripped him down, oh my God. strapped him to a table and... They left it in there just to show the world? Yeah, I guess they, <gasps> so they put like, I believe it was liquid nitrogen on his hand. What? And he said he that wasn't numbed. Him. Yeah, he said he could see his skin bubbling and the pain was in, so intense. He was screaming. His mom was screaming. And like people are just watching this happen to this little boy. I'm like, yeah. that is so traumatizing. I totally understand why So he's now, like that. yeah, I can, I would see why you wouldn't want to touch people, why you wouldn't go near people. Like, right. I can totally understand. Like, if you already have OCD tendencies mm -hmm. and something like that happens, oh right. my gosh. Most of these are brought on by something like that, right. something traumatic. And yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. That's I just, crazy. I didn't know that. I never knew. I knew yeah. he was a germaphobic, but yeah. I did not know. I just know. thought that was so interesting because that's proof that, like, not every phobia is just somebody being, no phobia is, every everything is real. Any way you feel is real. If you're scared of something, nobody needs to validate that for right. you. Like, if you are allowed to have fears. <laughs> but it's just proof that not... <sighs> Sometimes there is a lot deeper meaning to a fear than what it may come off as, oh, they're quirky and weird. They don't like to shake hands. Maybe something happened to cause them to never want to touch people again. And that is not your problem like so literally don't judge like don't yeah. judge right exactly yeah. we've all we are all scared of something i don't care how badass you are exactly. my husband is a big gruff rough dude and he is not scared of anything you wouldn't think 
But if a fucking cicada comes flying at him, he screams like a little girl. He says they're devil birds with their red, evil little eyes. And he is terrified <laughs> of them. Terrified. You know how bad so I even see the him biggest dude with the biggest beard and all the. can be terrified of something. I honestly don't know <laughs> what my husband will be scared of. Take a cicada up to him and see what he does. I'm just I curious. He'll just stomp it in the ground. He's not scared of bugs. <laughs> He's not at all. Oh, snakes. Yeah, he doesn't like... Oh, but he's not... Motherfucking snakes. If we have a snake, he'll kill it and take it and get yeah. rid of it. It's not like he's like right. runs from them or anything. Yeah. He just does not like them. Yeah. So, but, so I don't know if that would really be... Okay, we'll say yeah. snakes. That's fine. Well, I, I know people that are tonight. so scared of snakes that they won't even go near worms. So, yeah, like, no, yeah I don't think it's a... No. They'll take care of it instantly yeah. and then just toss it. And yeah, my it husband with cicadas, he, he will go the other way. And now we have these... The cicada killers, like I hate bugs, like oh, like the but murder hornets those that they're massive. They're murder yeah, they say they don't sting, but we get them now and then in the back I got porch. One the other night. And those don't bother him, but the cicadas do. Like he's like, leave them, don't kill my them. New, they new, need to kill them cicadas. My new puppy <laughs> digs the cicadas out of the ground. Oh and my eats gosh! Them. Oh my gosh! You know how gross it is to see those wings hanging out of a puppy's oh, mouth. Oh, they're so big, dude. Yeah. They're like two inches long. Mm-hmm. They're so big. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I could talk about fears all day, but mm, we've probably done enough. <laughs> we've probably done enough. Okay, so if you need to contact us for any reason at all, you can do so at only if you, you can, can keep, keep up, up at gmail.com. gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Bye.